Hello, my crafty friends. Today I am sharing a mini slimline card that uses one of my new um, Edger dies from Creative Expressions. So I'll show you my card and then we can go into some of the details. Here is the envelope. I did stenciling on it. And the card, as I said, is a mini slimline. It measures folded six inches by three and a half inches. Inside is a pop-up. So some details for my card. It started out, of course, with the Dolphin Edger, which is this one here. It's from Creative Expressions, and I picked several of them up on a flash sale at R&R Scrapbooking out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. And I bought them because it's an Edger die, which means you get to decide how far up on the card you want to place it and how long you want your card to be. So I knew that they would work for slimlines and mini slimlines, and that's, of course, what I love to be making. So I picked a couple of those up. This is my first time using the Dolphin Edger die. I'm really happy with it, and they cut like butter. So I cut it from this metallic cardstock. I'm not able to link this mirrored cardstock. I can't find it for you. It is, this is the label that it comes with. It's from Hunky Dory Crafts out of the UK. I included it in my order at r and Scrapbooking. It's sold out on their site, or at least it was. You can always check there. For some reason, I am not able to link anything to r and Scrapbooking, uh, which is really too bad because I would like to be able to support them as a Canadian company. But this is what it looks like. That's where I got it. And you can see the ombre and I used the blue portion for my dolphin. I popped it up with foam tape onto a cloud background. And that came from Divinity Designs Landscapes Paper Pad. And I actually used this one here. <laughs> so I cut the bottom off of, it's a six by six inch paper pad, and I needed a three and a half inch height for my card. So I just cut it at three and a half inches. And this is the leftover piece that I will use on a different project. When I use a specialty cardstock, I tend to hang on to the little bits. I had cut some pumpkins pre on a for a different card out of this orange and yellow piece, and I had kept some of the little scraps, so I adhered them behind the fish. So here is the dolphin piece cut out, and you can see the fish there. I just turned it over, added some glue, and then added some scraps of that orange metallic as well. So it still has all of the shine of the blue one, but it gives a little pop of color. And then I still needed some more contrast. I had my blue metallic, I had my soft blue sky, but I just felt like it needed something else. I inked the edges with a domed blending sponge. Uh, that didn't wasn't enough for me. So I die cut it again from white and then took some of the leftover bits like the dolphin belly and the interior of the waves here, the ones that would be below the waterline. I added glue through the opening because this was already popped up with foam tape and dropped all those little pieces into the wet glue and then added a wink of Stella. And I'm not sure if that's gonna show up in video, but in real life, though, like that dolphin belly and those waves, they're nice and sparkly. So I was happier with it then, but the sky needed something, so I used the clouds from Karen Berniston's landscape scene. They do not have stitching lines on them, and I think they're probably my only clouds that don't. I tend to like um, stitching lines on things, but they, the stitching really didn't go with this card, so I was happy to use those. And there's a little wink of Stella on the top of each of those clouds as well. Now this sticker came from Kaiser Crafts mermaid tails which is a 12 by 12 paper package i've had for a couple of years and it has a 12 by 12 sheet of bonus stickers so that is what i used for my think happy be happy i mean dolphins leaping out of the water that's just happy right there inside is the pop-up you can see i added more of the pattern paper from the package the smile is from pink and Maine. it comes with the script and the shadow die i die cut this the smile is from a kind of a dark purple cardstock. It was a scrap that was in with the pattern paper, so I must have used it for a, a card previously, thought it matched really well, and just put the scrap in the container. So that was adhered to a shadow, which was die cut from another one of the pattern papers, and then I cut the shadow again from the purpley pattern paper, cut that second shadow in half, and then adhered it 
separated so there is a kind of another shadow at the bottom and the top. So there was my smile. The shell yeah is from Splish Splash Sentiments by Elizabeth Craft Designs. It's probably retired, but if not, I will link it on my blog. Everything that is available will be linked on my blog, which is in the description box below. The stitched oval is from Waffle Flowers Lacy Ovals. I added that, and there's a place we can sign our name. And then the pop-up, you can see there's two platforms, and they are from Karen Berniston's new Street Lantern pop-up. I haven't even had a chance to play with the Street Lantern yet, and it was probably my favorite out of her whole new release. But this little pop-up die is very generic, and you can use it to animate all kinds of things in all kinds of card sizes because it's just a nice little pop-up. I added two because of the width of my smile, but in hindsight, I could probably have gotten away with just one in the center. However, the two does make it nice and sturdy. I added some seashell sequins. Wow, that's a mouthful. To my card for a little bit more shine. And I used glue dots to adhere them because of the glossy, the metallic um, glue doesn't adhere all that well to, to that. And I didn't want it popping off in the mail. I also went over the script part of the smile with my wink of Stella. Again, I'm not sure if that shows up. But just a fun card ready to send out for happy mail. Then I went to grab an envelope and <laughs> took a detour. If I went right, I would get to my envelopes, but I went left and went got my envelope punch board. Thought I would try making my own envelope for a mini slimline card. I used the measurements for a six by three and a half inch card, which is what this is. And just white printer paper and made my envelope. Then I wanted to stencil. I used this wave stencil from TCW and Tailored Expression Blending Brushes, Catherine Pooler Inks, and did my stenciling there. There's, this one's light enough that it's easy to write an address on, but I did something different with it. Rather than just turn it over and do the fold lines, glue it down, I put my card inside before I adhered it. So I had done the score lines with the envelope punch board. I had done all my quick folding, but before I glued the flaps down, I put my card inside it and then folded the bottom up the sides in and then added my adhesive here. So you can see how easy the card fits in and out of the envelope, but there is a bit of a bow to the envelope. And that's because I formed it around the card, so it still will nail for a single stamp. It just means the card fits in so easy. That bow doesn't make any difference to the, the height of the envelope itself. It just makes it so easy to put the card in and out. And so you do that by adhering the flaps while the card is still inside. Now, some people don't like this portion that you get when you use the envelope punch board. One, it doesn't bother me at all. But two, I'm gluing all my envelopes shut. Even the gummed labels, I used to just wet my finger for the gummed labels, but because of COVID, no, I'm gluing them. I don't want anyone to think I'm licking their envelopes. So I use wet glue even on gummed envelopes. So when my card goes through the mail, that will be glued shut and whoever opens it is gonna have to cut it and open it from the top anyhow. So that part won't even be seen. So I'm happy with my card. Took a little bit of fiddling to get it to, to the point that I was happy with it, but. I'm happy with it and I'm really glad I got the Dolphin Edgers. They're just so playful and fun and I think I can use them for birthday cards, even for the nursing home, for my donation cards. I also want to do one with a sunset. So maybe do the dolphins out of black and do the, a sunset behind them. Landscapes paper pad here. This one has got lots of fun sunsets that I could use and I also have one by Whimsy and of course I have stencils that I can make to create a sunset as well. Lots of fun options going to be coming with this Dolphin Edger. If you enjoyed my video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to see more. And that's it for me today.